Hi guys, welcome back to the latest news about the phones and let's get into it. So as Samsung grew larger and larger and eventually becoming the largest Android manufacturer in the world, it began to grow less and less reliant on Google services. Of course, Samsung phones run Android, but Samsung decided to use their own Tizen OS opposite to Wear OS on their watch. Samsung even has its own Galaxy store for apps. They are also helping Google make the Tensor chipset that Google uses on their Pixel lineup. Google designs custom AI features on top of what is essentially an Exynos chipset. Not only that, but the Google Discover feed as well as Google Messages are now integrated into Samsung's One UI software. Samsung is also integrating Google Nest products into SmartThings. Samsung has discontinued using their Exynos chipset in their flagship devices until 2025. They did this to make sure they are competitive with Apple and Qualcomm's offering which the current Exynos chips are clearly not. And it seems that where Google is giving its expertise to Samsung, artificial intelligence is the future. It's good to have the raw power but it's equally important to have great AI capabilities. On a phone because AI will take over the majority of things we do on a phone in the next coming years. Another area where this new Exynos chip will differ compared to Apple's and Qualcomm's chips is that it will feature 10 CPU cores instead of the 8 we have on current chipsets, 2 Cortex-X cores, 4 high performance cores and 4 efficiency cores. This would effectively make it the most powerful chipset when it launches but the problem is it's scheduled to launch in 2025 and subscribe if you want more content about the phones and support the video with like and leave a comment down below and I will see you on the next video. Peace.